Do you know what I mean, people? Hi, ah, you're watching the Armenian Corner, a play on YouTube with Sean and Pam. I'm serializing. I'm kind of doing a live journal, if you will. Substack. Those people are so stupid, the people who are running Substack. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? I'm just sitting here eating honey. You know, not trying to capitalize of my brand. You know what I mean? Oh, gosh, everybody. I'm just practicing for um, full disclosure. I'm just practicing for my return to the stage at the world famous Hollywood Improv coming April 9th, the anniversary of my scrotal wound and my stay at um, General Hospital. Also, the born day of my beloved stylist and friend, Stacy Tabarez. Say hey if you see her. I never do because she cuts my hair so beautifully and then I just like to let it cascade. I also highly recommend Salon Benjamin. <clears throat> I, I might have stepped in the punchline there. Salon Benjamin, not Solange. Salon Benjamin. My parents did live in Houston, my friends. Arthur and I were at the Houston Galleria together, right? We were fated to meet, right? I wasn't lying when I said this past summer here, I'm looking to the room. Hey, motherfuckers, what's up? What's up with me, you might ask? Right. Thank you for your rapt attention. Some of you know I am the actual nutty professor, right? Eddie Murphy just played one on TV, so they say. Now I'm looking out at the audience right out there the inner room, the outer room, right? If you were in class with me right now, right? We'd be thinking together about what ailed the world, right? I'm also practicing for a play I'm developing um, called Office Hours for Broadway. And yes, I'm getting my teeth cleaned, motherfuckers. No, it's not because I did crystal meth. Here's one of the other things that people always get wrong about crystal meth users. Doing crystal meth actually makes us brush our teeth more. At least if you're gay, like me and my friends, right? When we did it, like, they were like, brush your teeth because we don't want people to think we're doing and apparently I did such a good job of not letting people know I was doing crystal meth. And my own fucking partner, a term I now associate more with Starbucks baristas, who I love, by the way, right? Those people are not getting paid well enough. True story, right? Those people are not getting paid well enough for those jobs. Right? And people are out here on these comedy streets, right, saying that there's a tipping problem. Well, there is a tipping problem. We're not getting tipped enough. Although I get it. You know, when I first came out here to La La Land, I had a lot of cash to burn because I was, well, I was put on paid leave at a little college called Gettysburg that's partially surrounded. Yeah, I'm going in and out, people. This is my Gettysburg address part two. Fuck Lincoln. Fuck all these dudes, right? Jesus Christ. You know? Yo, Obama, we are listening. Okay? What the fuck does that mean, right? On a holy Thursday, right? When people who actually believe 
in Christianity and not like you fucking posers. Talk about exploiting faith. Right? There's no daylight between the exploitation of Biden's faith and the exploitation of Trump's faith, right? What's the difference? He's selling Bibles, both of them, right? And they're fucked up little heads, right? These sad, 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 sad little men, right? Jared Kushner, the fucking pipsqueak. That dude doesn't know his ass from his face, right? And I do. I'm a gay man, right? I survived genocide in this country, right? I studied ACT UP when ACT UP was still fresh in people's minds. I interviewed Larry Kramer, right? And I disagreed with his screed that time that we should stop having sex. It's not our problem that an infectious disease was loosed upon the world, right? During this ongoing catastrophe of a transition moment, right? I mean, I'm a geographer of the built environment. The Key Bridge in Baltimore collapsing because a cargo ship leased or contracted with Maersk crashed into a pillar could not be a more ominous sign because as the most cutting edge of scholarship has shown now for quite some time, considering that people still don't understand chaos theory, people, right? Shit happens. Get used to it, right? But when you see something, say something, say it with me now, people. What I'm saying to my imaginary audience out there, right? What do you hear when you ride on public transportation, people? Whether you're here in LA or across the fucking country in New York where I'm from, right? You hear, if you see something, say something. Well, I'm seeing a bunch of bullshit out there, people, right? And most of us are just too busy living our best lives to care. And I'm totally down with that project 100%, right? But people actually are dying by the droves, right? The climate actually has shifted, which I'm sure is underscoring much of what's going on, right? I mean, come on, people. COVID-19 back to back with HIV, right? That's that's in the past, what? In my lifetime, I'm 46 years old. The number of the element palladium, I lived around the corner from the palladium. They turned that shit into an NYU dorm. El Bloom Beto turned around, tried to steal the election that year, right? By whitewashing his record, saying he wasn't in charge of stop and frisk. Yo, him and all the white people who put him into office, yo, right? Why don't we ever talk about that side of Judaism, right? Because just as sure as Christians are stupid as fuck, just as certain that some Jewish people are stupid as fuck, right? Take BB. That dude doesn't have a PhD. So what the fuck does he know? Nada, right? It's called strong man people, right? Donald Trump is the good, excuse me. No, Donald Trump. Oh, here, you see, here's the problem, people. We live in a carceral society, right? So to some people, say, if you look at the fucking electoral college or the popular vote, right? Half the voting population in this country, the Union States of America, which is very little, right? Because not a lot of people vote here for good reason. The system doesn't work. It was destroyed after the second reconstruction, right? This is called American history, people. It's actually what my PhD is, and I did American studies with the best of the best.
both inside America and outside America. And that's why half of the voting population now sees Trump as the good cop and Biden as the bad cop. And the other half of the voting population sees Biden as the good cop and Trump as the bad cop. Do you see how this is an endless loop, people? I play tennis, so I'm happy to go back and forth. I love this shit. I interviewed fucking Hillary Clinton once right out here in Hollywood. People remember? Right? I asked her, and this was my editor at the time, one of the good pieces of advice fucking Ann Stockwell ever gave me. It's true. Give her fucking credit. We fought. Because I was like, I am, why are you riding me so hard? She wouldn't leave me alone, that lady. But you know what? I give her credit. Right? Because my mother rides me hard. You know what I mean? I would never have finished my dissertation. I got to give it up to Pat Kennedy. Fucking pour one out for Pat Kennedy. Right? She's a bad bitch. My mom. She'd be appalled that I'm saying that right now. But she is a bad bitch. She secretly loves that I do this. My parents profess not to watch my shit. I know they watch it. I showed my mom my roasting of my brother and sister-in-law and she was laughing. That's true. I love my brother and sister-in-law. They're amazing, but they are. I mean, they're... Listen, as I said to my brother recently, you made particular choices that resulted in two homes, right? And you travel the world and your wife, common law, because they never got married because they're smart. I have never married either, but I am fucking getting married. You see, I'm going in and out. Thank you, Improv, for making me. Thank you, Rita. That's with two E's. You know, here's the real tea, people. I'm saying this to all you youngsters. A lot of you come up here being like, oh, give it up for Rita. Rita doesn't want to hear that. Right? What is Rita paying attention to? Can he deliver a cold open, right? You can't, right, think that you know anybody in the audience, people, right? Why do you think I am such a lunatic? Right? Look at Nick Taravella, where he just leaves afterwards. That's actually the smart thing to do. You know, me, I'm practically a shut-in, right? Which is why I need to come on here and toot my own horn sometimes. But also, people, this is called self-reflective learning, right? I mean, I'm learning through this process. Why do you think I've been doing it? And why do you think so many people have been helping me along the way? By the way, I am teaching again. You can book me privately. I'm starting a course this coming uh, Sunday, the 8th. No, the 7th, excuse me. I'm in my 47th year. So we're in alignment yet again. On Martin Buber's I and Thou which, among other things, explains how you and I, the audience and me, are inseparable, right? We are actually connected through the screen, literally, right? That's called science, people. And that stupid idiot RFK Jr., who's running for office right now, who drafted that stupid idiot from the Bay Area, who is against in vitro fertilization on the one hand, but on the other hand, wants to extend... The length of time women can reproduce. Meanwhile, all I ever hear women say, and I know I'm biased because I hear it from women comics who obviously know what's up because that's why they're comics, right? They know. We, <laughs> if you know, you know. Um, they don't want that shit to go on, right? So why is this woman, right? This is called critical thinking, people. Right? Use your noggin. That's what my parents taught me. Even when the schools didn't teach me to use my noggin, right? This is my first time at the rodeo. People have been trying to stop me from speaking for the past 13, 14 years of my life. But you know, it's not going to work. I was quoting Susan Sontag at Thomas Jefferson High School for Science and Technology. Ask anybody. And look how beautiful these layers are. This is what I'm saying, people. This is love. Look at the space that my friend Eve, I mean, I, I gotta be quiet, but yeah, it's only 1020. I gotta be quiet, but you know, it's love and theft people, right? I'm going to do a course on the work of Eric Lott, love and theft. We're going to do that after Boober. 
I think it's really important that as many people as possible come together to look at the work of one of the most important Aquarian philosophers of all time, Martin Buber, whose birthday is a mere three days after mine and February 8th. And then we're going to do... Okay, here's what we're going to do, people. We're going to do Martin Buber. Then we're going to do Foucault. We're going to do Foucault's... prison book. I don't know what it's called. I haven't read it, so we're going to do that. That's also the secret to quality teaching, my friends. You can Venmo me at sean-kennedy-101 or at seanmp-friends. That's Sean, S-E-A-N. Thank you for watching this leg of my ongoing marathon telenovela called The Armenian Quarter I'm Broadcasting. Here, if you see this backdrop, you'll know it's the Armenian Quarter. It's a trial run for Broadway. Thank you, Jeremy O'Harris, and thank you, Issa Rae. Thank you, Black Hollywood, for seeing me so clearly. Thank you, Black Broadway, for seeing me so clearly. Thank you, Arthur Paul Sanchez, for seeing me so clearly. Thank you for accepting me for who I am, baby. Thank you for driving that replica sob. I had the same one, people. That's called your karmic twin. I was like, Scott, my ex-partner on the one hand, I gotta get out of here, my friends. I was like, that dude worked for the Fringe Festival, right? The theatrical festival. Like, his cousin was on Broadway and Wicked and other shows. Like, this dude so much wanted to be on Broadway but he was working as a banker, and not even as a banker banker. He was working as a, a relationship manager in this dead-end job that he was in for 17 years. He knows it. I was roasting him forever, right? And then I eventually ran into online the love of my life, Arthur Paul Sanchez, right? That's what I call him. He just goes by Arthur. He described himself to me. Well, he said to me that when he was in high school... Also, thank you to my Vietnamese brothers from another mother. I'm going to mess up both of their names right now, but on the one hand, we've got Unearth, We're Briefly Gorgeous. We could do a class on that. It'll be fourth. And then, um, what's that book that, oh, this is what I used to do in college. It's exaggerated here on camera. Um, yeah, no, I'm an Eddie professor. At Gettysburg College, I said, no, 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 let me talk to you about Amy Winehouse. And wait till I get to my South African era. Whoa, people, whoa. Thank you, everybody. I love you. Ciao for now.